Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Incredible Joe and I'm back at again with another video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And hit the notification bell so you get my videos first. My first, you can comment first. And today we're gonna go with it. You see what I'm saying? What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna get my windows tinted. Something I ain't did in a long time. My Camaro windows didn't get tinted. Um, my child windows are tinted, but they didn't touch my Camaro car. Oh, my, not my Camaro, my Camaro Z01. I didn't get my windows tinted on that car. Um, and I ain't get my windows tinted on the Mustang yet either. This is why. Most tent shops in Georgia that I've experienced are high as a MF, right? You know what I'm saying? 250, 200, 300, you know what I mean? 195. Bump that. No. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get my one else in right now, and they cost $100. Um, now, one thing about the place I'm going to, right? I know you're going to camp like, man, it ain't worth it. But, you know what I'm saying? They do a pretty good job from what I've seen, so I ain't doing no tripping on what the location look like. Everybody got to get started somewhere, and like I said, they charge a hundred bucks just to go over the factory film. Now, if I get the factory film taken off and go with all the new film, then it's gonna be like 180. But even then, that's still good because it's a, a cover up in Atlanta, that's gonna be a smooth little 195 to three something. So that's why I'm getting the windows done today. It's actually raining as we speak, so we're not gonna be outside too too much because I don't want to be out there get my camera wet and all that kind of shit. By the way, the wheels on this car get all types of attention you know what i'm saying i'll be watching people go down the highway they be staring you know what I'm saying? i'll count the store and look key which is pointing and stuff it's kind of funny to me because i know i'm not the only mustang in the world with bronze wheels but folks really rock on these wheels you know what i'm saying but i had to go down and go to the store real quick so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna head to the store you what i need you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna come back when i get back we're gonna go ahead and start the window 10 process we got two cars ahead of us so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned throughout the rest of this video all right y'all so look I went and got the stuff done. Uh, I didn't record the spot, you know what I'm saying? Cause it wasn't really just like the environment for that. But regardless, they did do a good job. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I saved a ton of money waiting to get to Texas to do something like this before I did it in Georgia. Cause in Georgia, the cheapest I heard was 220. No, that's that's no good for me. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and look at the car, man. Oh, we coming together. Yes, yeah, sir. So look, I didn't touch the windshield at all maybe i should have did like a little strip or something maybe i don't nah i don't know though because nah it look good because when you look at everything else the interior black the windows black so the windshield gonna be black too but look if you look right here you see what i'm saying can't see nope can't see inside of there so that's 20 percent on the windshield on the, on the front two windows five percent five percent right come back here you cannot see inside the car get close to it can't see inside the car at all. And the way it was before was big fishbowl action. You can see inside the car, we can have contact with each other, you know what I'm saying? That's the worst thing in the world when you're driving, to have like that direct eye contact with somebody. That's the weirdest shit in the world. I swear it is. I don't... My bad, I thought I heard something. I don't, I, I don't like that. I would only do that with certain vehicles, you know what I'm saying? Like certain forms of luxury, that kind of thing, but I'm not... Hell nah, no, nah, I couldn't do it on this car. You know what, though, if I had a McLaren, I wouldn't tend to win on the McLaren. But anyway, look, so that's it for that sector of cosmetics on the car. What I got planned now, I want to go ahead and do the spoiler and the RTR grill, right? And then I want to get the BMR lowering springs, drop the car by the, you know what I'm saying, by the inch. What is it, three quarters in the front, an inch in the back? And then maybe, maybe, a little five millimeter spacer or something like that just so I can bring the wheels out a little bit. I told y'all, I don't really know if I'm gonna go power right now. I might go towards the looks until I figure out what it is I'm gonna do with the car. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm gonna trade in eventually or if I'm gonna go ahead and go big build. I told y'all it's gonna depend on whether I can keep the car or not because if I can't keep it, I don't really necessarily wanna get all the money put into the car to build it just to get rid of it. But at the same time, it will be good for content and hell it'll be good to just experience to see how that shit feel too you know what i'm saying so without further ado but that's that's it that's it for that sector of the car now this is what i want y'all to see right if you look at everything i'm tying to the car the wrap when i wrap the car is going to be metallic white um it's gonna have like the little like it's gonna be like a white creamish white with like the little metallic flakes all through the um all through the wrap and then what I'm gonna do the second after that, if y'all can look and tell, I'm gonna show y'all on this side. 
If you can tell, which I don't know if y'all can, you should be able to on camera. But look, this part right here, all oh, that's mahogany. Bronze, mahogany, right? So with the metallic white wrap, with the, the specs and the sparkle going all the way through it, this right here, I might end up getting the inverted ones that turn out this way, but this is going to be either bronze or mahogany wraps, as well as the side view mirrors and the spoiler. Now, what spoiler am I gonna get? I don't believe in getting like up badge parts for cars. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't really believe in doing that kind of shit, but I do want that GT500 spoiler. I know, don't rag me for it. I'm very much so against putting demon hoods on challengers and shit like that. Do what you want to do because it's your car, but I just feel like it's not a demon. You know what I'm saying? But I guess I can't talk either because that GT500 spoiler is the is that. You know what I'm saying? So the GT500 spoiler, I'm not gonna do the front end, nothing like that. But I'm gonna get the spoiler wrapped either bronze or mahogany. But Everything that I put on the car as far as rap goes is going to tie everything together. I know, just listen to it, you probably thinking, Joe, what the hell kind of shit is that? But you'll see exactly what it looks like when I get done. Everything else, the tail lights are smoked out, the headlights are smoked out, the sequential signal lights are smoked out, the reflector lights are smoked out, the windows are now black, you know what I'm saying? Um, everything's going to tie together in the car, so you really have to just stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? Because you might actually enjoy what you see on the car. Now, this is what I want to show y'all right here. On the interior, if y'all go to Hell Horse Performance, right? Hell Horse Performance, on their website, they have the digital dash going right here across the, um, this is like the 18s and 19s. They got the digital dash on the radio, right? Y'all know I got the little baby calculator radio. What they have is like the little, it, Savage Speed got it. Savage Speed got the same radio. It's like a big ass like Tesla screen right there. Um, so I'm going to get the digital dash, the Tesla screen radio. Um, then over here, i5 auto house, they have a, um, like a digital display that sets up that shows the RPMs. It shows your, uh, speedometer, your mile per hour. And it's going to go right here where the, um, where this right here is going already. So all of this going across here is going to be lit up this or well, probably this one. This one is going to be an engage for when I get the car tuned, right? So I get ready to see all my little, you know what I'm saying, all the little kitty caboodles, the temperatures, the boost, all that kind of stuff you see with the engage on the car. Oh, so let me just show y'all what it looks like on the inside. Man, first of all, it's significantly cooler in here too. I just want to make that be known, but you can't see like, when I'm looking at my rear view mirror, I can't see behind me like that. You know what I'm saying? Because all they did was put tent on top of tent. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like they took the old tent off, put the new tent on, because they already had a little bit of tent on here. It wasn't just like broad daylight, nothing. They already had tent on the car. So they put the new tent on top of the old tent. So it's really kind of like extra dark. You see what I'm saying? Oh, also, there's like a, I saw some of y'all were saying that Putting the airbags in the car is most important. Da, 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 da. I'm going to put airbags back in the car. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? We cut them out for right now um, because with airbags, you got the new sensors, you got to do this and the third. Um, and I just don't want to pay for that right now. Um, I don't think it's that expensive to be honest. But the headliners back up. Everything is good. I don't want. I don't feel like disrupting anything on this car at the moment because it's just fine how it is. And to be honest. Y'all look at statistics. Airbags are killing people more than the accidents are. You see what I'm saying? And of course, if you're going at a certain speed, 100 plus, and you get into an accident, the odds of you living through that are very fucking slim any damn way. But the airbags are killing people more than the damn accident are. So I'm not, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. They are going to serve a purpose in this car, but I'm type scared of them. So like I said, I see y'all's comments. I see exactly what y'all are saying. I'm not overlooking it. Yes, the car will have airbags. I'm not gonna just go ahead. If I trade the car in, it most definitely will have airbags. I'm not gonna get a car away with no airbags in it. That's fucking stupid. That's trifling. It's selfish as hell is what it is. So, y'all just stay tuned for everything to come. I told y'all this car is gonna get put together all the way together the right way from cosmetics first. You know what I'm saying? Because 
my last couple cards, the Cosmetics was just like minimal, but it was more of a power thing. Well, the Challenger never had no power in my eyes. I just gutted it. Um, I gutted it, and then I put the tire and all that shit on there, but it wasn't no power in my eyes. The ZL1, um, I was like pretty much full bolts on, and then I got tuned by Vengeance, and then it had the white hood roof and trunk on a black car with the red, chrome red accent. So, I mean, it, it had somewhat cosmetics but this car we all know mustangs when you do them up cosmetically they look fucking magnificent so like i said before man this car will get done on right so y'all stay tuned throughout every other single video so you don't miss nothing on the channel but without further ado it's your boy and curl with joe i'll see y'all on the next one peace